Users are continuously asking us for collaboration. The fact that they keep asking means they cannot today effectively communicate in 3D. So we think that that more that they're asking for is live 3D collaboration. So in order to do this, we had to make it very easy for a user anywhere, at their desk, a manufacturing shop floor, or even at home, to kick off a shared modeling session. To start a shared session, all you have to do is click a button, put in your name, and then it generates a URL that you can share with anyone who you want to join the session. In this case, I will send a link to Frank. When Frank receives the link, all he has to do is click on it and bring it up inside a browser. As soon as he does, you'll notice that there's nothing to download or install. It's merely instantaneous connection to the session. I have my invitation. Launches Chrome. This works for Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari. Here I have my model. So the first important thing you'll notice is that both participants can interact with the display of the model. If Frank zooms in the model, spins, or changes the view, I see it immediately on my screen. He can even select geometry or you know, make other changes to color and features of the parts. Likewise, I have the same control. It's not limiting. No longer are we passing mouse and keyboard control back and forth. We can now actually work on the same data at the same time. Now, if we want to involve somebody else in our session, it's as easy as sending off another invite. In this case, let's say we want to bring another user in. Well, imagine that user here is on a tablet. I got my invitation, and I'll sign in as a guest user. And you can see that there's no wires. I'm not tethered. This is just a Nexus 7 standard out of the box. And I'm on the uh, 4G network. And here is my control of the whole session and everything I'm doing on my screen updates to everybody else's, including selection of faces and spin pan zoom and control of everything. Now, should we get into more details of what the functionality can do? My favorite part of the tool is the way the participants can work together. If Frank wants me to change something or wants to indicate a potential problem, he can select on geometry, and then I can pull, move, or use other space claim tools to make changes to the model. He is an active participant, not a passive viewer. No passing of mouse and keyboard controls back and forth. We can now work together the way true collaboration should be. Now, along with selection, it's important for users to be able to indicate potential issues and also for us to record their feedback. This pen capability allows me to mark up the design changes that we want to tackle later. I've been to companies where design reviews require three whole separate people, one driving the meeting, one driving the model, and one taking all the notes. Now everyone can work together in 3D at the same time. A unique feature of Connect is the ability of a participant to pause and make independent their view of the model. They can traverse through the assembly, take cross-sections, or even measurements. They can take snapshots and record markup, and when they've decided and evaluated uh, something they want to communicate with the rest of the group, they can rejoin the session and share those markups and feedback. A quick note about security. All the geometry stays with the host. When you close the session, nothing is left behind. Space Gloom Engineer is already the leading 3D direct modeling tool. It's easy to use for non-experts. It's powerful, and it's interoperable with all CAD formats. It makes users more productive, and it makes them happy. Codename Connect is a real-time 3D cloud-enabled collaboration tool. It's still easy to use, just like Space Claim Engineer, but it's also simultaneous, and it's also interactive. Our beta is currently underway, and we're always looking for more participants. The product will be widely available to customers in early 2014.